special plans for the holidays? Don't ask. Thanksgiving sucks. Well, I believe there are about 20 million of his friends that might agree with you. So what's up? Well, I just got off the phone with my ma. She wants me to bring a dish to Thanksgiving dinner. When did that start? With the pilgrims? Well, yeah, well, the pilgrims suck. I can't cook. Do Fritos count as a side dish? Daddy, make yams. Yams are easy. I would, but my Aunt Camille is bringing them, bitch. Hey, honey, you ready for tonight? I got a video camera so we can tape it. Oh, please. Can't you people just rent those videos like everybody else? No, Richard. We're going up to 77th Street after dinner to watch them inflate the Caroline and the City Balloon. You want to tag along? No, thank you. Uh, tag along. Who do I look like, Huck Finn? Hey, I think this is pretty cool. Somebody we know has a balloon in the Thanksgiving Day Parade. Hey, you know, it's not just any balloon. Caroline's is the second biggest in the whole parade. 80 feet. Get out. I'm out. <laughs> kind of makes you proud to work for it, doesn't it, Richard? Yeah. You know, size is a definite sign of artistic success. You know, I hear Whistler died miserable, never having realized his dream of an 80-foot mother. <laughs> Richard, this is important to me, and it's not just a big ego thing. In 10th grade, I was in the marching band. Second chair saxophone. Oh, great. Childhood story. Hey, I love Tales of the Midwest. Is there a cow in this one? No. It's just that my band got picked out of thousands of other high school bands to come to New York and be in the Thanksgiving Day Parade. Mm. I mean, I was so excited. I was going to be on TV. I was going to be part of something that's, you know, this, this American tradition. Hey, I didn't know you were in the high school band. Mm -hmm. You, uh, you still got that uniform? <laughs> Don't interrupt her. I think she was actually getting to a point. So was I. Anyway, Michael Sheehan, who, by the way, was also a fan of my uniform, <laughs> gave me mono two days before we were supposed to go, and I had to stay home and watch everybody on the TV. Mono sucks. <laughs> the point is, it, it was kind of a, a dream of mine, and I never thought I'd get another chance. And if I could just stay away from Michael Sheehan for the next 12 hours, I might just get my shot. <laughs> Del, your pants are ringing. Hi, this is Del Cassidy. I'm not in my pants right now. Del Cassidy here. Well, Carolyn, I just think this balloon thing is the coolest in the whole world. You know, Annie, there's a couple more ropes. You want to come with us? Hmm? Really? Okay, that sounds like fun. What time? 5 a.m.? Oh, I'd love to, you know, but I got that thing with sleeping. <laughs> Annie, do this with us, and I will bake you an apple pie that'll knock your Auntie Anne's right out of the water. Oh, an apple pie! Like they make back home in Wisconsin? Oh, sure. <laughs> and you know what's really good? If you put a nice, yummy slice of cheddar cheese oh. on top. Yeah, like oh. from Mars Cheese Castle. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, all right. You bake a pie, I'll pull a balloon. And hey, Richard, you know, there's one more rope left. Only if it's long enough to go around my neck. It's a no, huh? Nope. It's a sarcastic no. Okay, okay, great, I'll tell her. Honey, great news, that was the parade people. Spider-Man sprung a leak, they're moving us up. We're right behind the Wessonality flow with Florence Henderson on it. Florence Henderson? As in Mrs. Brady? As in the lovely lady about which there is a story? Oh my God, I love Florence Henderson! Who is Florence Henderson? Whoa. 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 I bought Who is Shaquille O'Neal. And I even bought Who is Charlie Brown, but Who is Florence Henderson? What planet are you from? Come on, haven't you ever heard of the Brady Bunch? They were on television. Television I've heard of. Wow. Y you don't know the Brady Bunch? See, this is the problem with the American education system. Shelly! Richard, look who's here. It's Shelly. Hi, boyfriend's boss. Happy almost Thanksgiving. Don't cover me, because I'm going to try to get out of here without getting hugged. Shelly! Hi, boyfriend's boss's boyfriend. Oh, hi, boyfriend's boss's neighbor. Hi, uh, neighbor's employees. I have no idea what I'm doing. Shelly, what are you doing here? Okay, I, I know I'm not supposed to bother you while you're at work, but I just got the greatest news, and I was right down the street in my physical therapist's office. He said my finger is perfectly healed. Uh, Shelly, I thought you hurt your right hand. 
I did. I hurt my right hand when I fell, but I hurt my left hand on the equipment at the physical therapist's office. <laughs> so anyway, you know how I was supposed to drive down to see my folks for Thanksgiving? Well, guess what? Okay, I'll tell you. <laughs> the whole left side of Pennsylvania is covered with snow. Dad says on the map now it's just Sylvania. <laughs> so now I can spend Thanksgiving with you. Well, you know, Shelley, as much fun as that sounds, and... Oh, boy, does it sound fun. You know, I just don't think I can. Why not? Uh, I am going to help Caroline pull her balloon in the parade. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Wouldn't miss it. Oh, is it tomorrow? Yes, um, Thanksgiving's falling on a Thursday this year. <laughs> then I'll come with you. I just want to spend Thanksgiving with the guy I'm giving thanks for. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Spadero, this is the front desk with your 5 a.m. wake-up call. I'm up! Oh, no continental breakfast for her. Del? Del? <laughs> okay, I'm up. I just have to get dressed. You are dressed. Excellent. So this is 5 a.m., huh? 5 a.m. sucks. Move over. Annie, you've been up at 5 a.m. before. No, I have stayed up till 5 a.m. I've never gotten up at 5 a.m. Okay, I'm up. I just have to get dressed. I'm sensing I'm not surrounded by morning people here. Hey, I beat the alarm, okay? No, it's the oven timer. Annie, your apple pie's finished. Doesn't that smell great? Wait a minute, you got up and baked? What are you, a Stepford cartoonist? <laughs> I never went to sleep. I'm just so jazzed about the parade. Ugh. Come on, you guys, wake up. We're going to be late. Oh, yeah. We've got to beat that uptown 5 a.m. traffic. <laughs> okay, Salty. Now, don't forget to watch us. We're right after Florence Henderson. You're you turning the TV on for the cat? <laughs> well, you don't expect her to turn it on herself. <laughs> Wow, it must be early, because that actually made sense. <laughs> Board, play, let's go, come on! Welcome back to the Sunrise Show. Now, here's Dr. Bryant with the weather. Good morning, New Yorkers, and here's the weather report for you early risers. It's a nippy 17 degrees on this Thanksgiving morning. Oh, this just gets better and better. <laughs> that coffee's starting to warm up your toes. Yes. Come on, you. We're going to be late to pull the balloon. All the good ropes will be taken. I'm walking as fast as I can without cracking my skin. <gasps> oh, my God. Do you see that woman's coat? Yeah. And as much as I'd like to, I think I'm too cold to try to steal it. That is fur from some defenseless little animal. Shelly, not again. Look, it is none of our business. Doesn't she know her coat has parents? Oh, that makes me sick. What makes a person do that? It's cold and they're bigger than the animal? Well, someone's going to have to teach her a lesson. What are you doing? What the hell is that? Paint. Paint? What kind of person carries around a can of paint in their purse? The kind of person that wants to make this world a better place for our children. What? what? Oh, she, she, she meant that in the nicest way. <laughs> moments away from getting this Thanksgiving Day parade underway. I am Michael Berger. This, of course, is Maddie Montfort. And I, I'll tell you, this is exciting, huh? Oh, it sure is, Mike. There is nothing like this parade. The floats, the balloons. Uh, speaking of balloons, uh, the newest balloon to leap out of the funny pages and join her friend Snoopy and Garfield <laughs> is Caroline from the comic strip Caroline in the City. She is so cute. I love that comic strip. And by the way, Caroline comes to the parade courtesy of Cassidy Greeting Cards. And Mike, did you know that the cartoonist herself, Caroline Duffy, is one of the volunteer balloon pullers today? Well, that's got to be exciting. Oh, I'm sure it is. I wonder what's going through mine right now. You should have gone before we left. <sighs> Didn't have to go then. But I'll be fine. We used to take long car trips when I was a kid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, when you play that back, I'm going to see her. What? No, I was just checking the Zoom, and Zoom! Huh, you look great in pink. <gasps> oh, my God! Oh, my God! 
I just had a close encounter of the Brady kind. Annie, will you leave Florence Henderson alone? You're supposed to be manning your room. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm only 18 feet from my childhood idol. I thought Robbie Benson was your childhood idol. No, no, he was my dream boat. Look what I got. <laughs> Florence Henderson had an 8x10 photo with her? No, I did. I was going to bring the poster, but I thought that would be too pushy. <laughs> this is Florence Hen. She didn't finish this. Yeah, that's when the security guards dragged me away. But I think we really connected. Hey, there's Richard. Hey, Richard, Shelly, over here! Okay, I think we lost him. Hey, where you guys been? Oh, getting coffee, running for our lives. It's a long story. Well, it's all my fault. Who would have thought? Okay, look, we're here. What do we do? Put these on. Ooh, these are so cute. Can we keep these? You have got to be kidding me. Del didn't complain. Because Del knew what was good for him. <laughs> so what do you guys think? Oh, it's wonderful. <gasps> oh, it's so big. Yeah, it's like the Hindenburg with dimples. I like her big. What do you think, Annie? 8,000 double D? <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, great. Now I know what a bottle of Pepto-Bismol feels like. I think you look very handsome. I think you look like you're ready to sweep up hair in a beauty parlor. <laughs> Okay, you rubber wranglers, I need everyone on a rope. I'm Pete, I'll be your captain. You can call me Pete, you can call me captain. Frankly, I prefer captain. Now, I'm going to say this once, so listen up. When we get the signal, they're going to release the anchor rope, so I need everyone in position and holding on tight. We need to avoid the shear, so be prepared to tack to the windward or tack to the leeward as appropriate. Watch for lopping, especially in Columbus Circle. That's where we lost Kermit last year. Any questions? Okay, let's go. Florence Henderson, she's getting ready to sing in just a few moments. Mm -hmm. And behind Florence, uh, we can see the brand new Caroline in the City balloon just starting to poke her nose down Broadway. Oh. Rain pops on roses and whiskers on kittens, bright copper kettles and warm woolen mittens. Oh, I could listen to her sing all the day. Unless we speed up and pass her, I think we're going to have to. Hey, cartoonists, don't let go. We lose one rope, we lose them all. Yes, sir, Captain, sir. Yes. to grandmother's house. We're running for our lives. Oh, we can't just leave him like this. He is cold and scared. So am I. Come on, let's go. No, he doesn't deserve to be treated this way. He's freezing. I think we should take him with us and we'll take him to the shelter. Shelly, look how short his legs are. He'll never be able to keep up. Uh, hi. Uh, in case you're wondering what we're doing, we're with the New York Leash Inspection Service. Yeah. Uh, ooh, this is a good sturdy leather and uh, double stitching on the wrist loop. Uh, you'll be receiving your uh, certificate in the mail. Have a nice day. <laughs> Honey, when he doesn't get a certificate, he's going to be mad. Shelly, if he wants to kill me, he's going to have to take a number. Now let's go. What? 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 What's going on? What's going on? Run! The Caroline balloon is coming this way! Oh. Come on! Come on! Shelly! Folks, if you're just joining us, this has turned into some parade. Sure. The Caroline in the city balloon has broken free. You know, they say it's moving south and it's headed towards lower Manhattan right now. Attempts are being made to retrieve it. It has caused some damage, most noticeably to several other floats. Yes, and Mike, we've just gotten word that Florence Henderson is in stable condition at NYU Medical Center. Oh, that's a relief. Yeah, it sure is. It sure is. Now, they're telling me that the balloon is heading downtown right now. I believe we have a live shot of the balloon right over Fifth Avenue. All right, uh, it seems that the uh, balloon has knocked over our cameraman. Oh, uh, Mike, Mike, by the way, um, yes, they're telling me that uh, Captain Philip Markham from the National Guard is about to make a statement. Well, it looks like the balloon is headed for landfall somewhere in Staten Island. Now, in order to prevent damage, we have members of our sharpshooting corps here to try and pop it safely over New York Harbor. You can't shoot her down. That balloon's mine. Caroline, Caroline, if you call her your baby, they'll take you away. I'm sorry, ma'am. It's our only option. No, no. 
No, 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 no. <laughs> I think we lost him, which is quite an accomplishment considering we look like Pez dispensers. Richard, listen, um, I am starting to think that maybe you and I have some problems. Oh, Shelly, I agree. I mean, it's like when we're together, things just happen. Yes, you yes. know? I mean, like how I let Caroline's balloon go and now this guy wants to kill us. Yes. I mean, it's almost like you plus me equals disaster. Oh, Shelly, I am so glad you brought this up. But I don't want you to get discouraged because I think we're worth fighting for. And <laughs> I'm not going to give up. I love you. Now, you go find Caroline, and I'm going to go back and see how our turkey is doing and make sure I lit the oven. The apartment isn't filling up with gas. <laughs> oh, thank God you're here. Please kill me. End my suffering. Linda, I'm serious. I'll give you money. Wait! 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 <laughs> They can't do this. Caroline, she's gonna crash into Staten Island. Oh, who lives in Staten Island? <laughs> can't they just put up some kind of net and catch her? Well, yeah, honey, but the Statue of Liberty would have to hold it. <laughs> okay, men, her feet are coming into range. No. Caroline, your cartoons are supposed to make people happy. Something's gone wrong with this one, and we've got to stop her before she hurts innocent people. We've got to do the right thing. Ready? Aim? Wait! I know. Goodbye, little Caroline. Fire. Hey. Hey. Listen. I know you're still a little bummed about the whole parade thing, so I got you a little surprise to cheer you up. Annie, thank you, but nothing's gonna make me feel better. Oh, I'm not so sure about that. Hello? <laughs> oh, my God, Florence Henderson. What are you doing here? <laughs> well, your friend said you were still feeling pretty down, and, well, she can be pretty persuasive. <laughs> it's a gift. <laughs> Look, I'm really, really sorry about your arm. Oh, honey, that's showbiz. I did a love boat once, hugged the rail for three days. <laughs> wow, this is just so weird. <laughs> Mrs. Brady, right here in my living room. <laughs> now, you do understand that I'm not really Mrs. Brady. Yeah, of course. Well, then, can you explain that to her? Oh! <laughs> Isn't she great? <laughs> Look, can I get you some coffee or tea? Or, or how about some pork chops and apple sauce? <laughs> you're doing it again. Now, Caroline, Annie tells me you're still very upset about this whole balloon thing. Why don't you just sit down and tell me all about it? <laughs> oh, no, Miss Henderson, you're far too busy. And... Well, actually, I was going to do a murder she wrote, but, well, now I have some time. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay. It's just that, you know, ever since I was little, I had this dream of being in the Thanksgiving Day Parade, and, and it finally happened. And instead of being the greatest day of my life, it was humiliating. Oh, Caroline, honey. <laughs> Let me tell you something that I've learned. You tried. That's what counts. <laughs> you know, it doesn't matter if the dreams come true out here. It only matters if they come true in here. Wow, that doesn't make any sense. I know, but it does make you feel better, doesn't it? Actually, it does. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God, this is just like when you explained to Marsha why she couldn't be Juliet, or when Bobby thought you loved the girls more than the boys, or when Peter... Yeah, yeah, Annie, changed. Annie, I remember I was there. <laughs> You know what would make her feel even better? No. Come on, you know. No, you not that again. I don't. No. <laughs> Here's the story of a lovely lady who was the sooner you sing, the sooner you get out of here. Bringing up three very lovely girls. All of them had hair of gold, like, like their, their mother, mother, the youngest one in curls. Here's the story. 
of a man named Brady. <laughs> Next con is the prime suspect following a burglary at Richard's apartment in Caroline in the City tomorrow night. Next up, though, the Bundys are putting my teeth on edge in Married with Children. Stay with us.